USC hosting Oregon. First time in the last 10 meetings that neither team is ranked. Haven't seen that between these two since 1997. And again, he started his first game against Washington, one of the best teams in the country, but in the last two weeks, he has played exceptionally well. And Jones was met and a tackle for loss. Charles Nelson is so dangerous in the return game. Leads the country in kickoff return yards. Leads the country with seven kickoff returns of 30 plus yards. For their coach and their coaching staff that maybe the outside world isn't clued into. So now kicking from the 30, it only goes to the goal line for Charles Nelson. As he looks to get a block, and get to the edge. Nelson able to return it. They respect that I'm competent, and there's a connection. Here's Royce Freeman, as it was Brooks James who started the game, but now a good run from the junior Freeman. Third and 11, they only bring three, as Herbert steps up and throws a good looking one to Jalen Brown for a first down all the way down into USC territory. 27 yards on third and 11. Great adjustment by the receiver as Michael Hutchings, the middle linebacker, is dropping underneath that. The receiver cut in front of the linebacker. And now Freeman to the 30 yard line, tackled by Nwosu. But that, young or old, you can't make that mistake. Wheeler does a nice job of stabbing it down at the one. Jones met again. Jalen Jelks with an outstanding play. Here's an end around now with Nelson. As Nelson turns on the speed and scores for the Ducks. Much needed on the board. Oregon really well leaves them a second and two and a good surge by Justin Hollins to get in the backfield against Dominic Davis a loss of two then was injured the next week third down and four as they're able to get the first down working Brooks James again A little deception there as they get it to Taj Griffin, and Griffin can fly as they gave the look of a potential double pass. Absolutely. Basketball, musician. There's a quick there's a little play. Shovel pass there to Davis, and it goes for no gain. That was Jonah Moy. A lot of energy now with Darnold at quarterback. That's a heck of a play that time by Jalen Jelks, the sophomore defensive end darting right in. And because of that, USC has to use another timeout immediately. Jelks right here on the end of the line is going to get up the field, read it, and wrap up. Again, you have to wrap this guy up, and Jelks does a nice job there. Out of the backfield is Freeman. And he was met that time by Tell. Picks up seven yards there. A little later on against Cal. Farrell Brown, the big bodied Farrell Brown, one of the great comeback stories in the sport. Herbert, first down throw complete to Carrington. First down here, as Brooks James is able to find that crease and accelerate through. USC has brought a lot of five-man pressures on third down. Inside screen, Nelson, as you know, for a little guy, he is so powerful. Those last four yards there, Todd, dragging a defender. Herbert able to find his tight end Munt. And they've had a lot of success this year with two guys, a very versatile in how they can use them in formation. And this time down to the five yard line to Johnny Munt. Play action. And into the end zone for the touchdown. Farrow Brown. 
And now the touchdown strike here. Well, watch, he just has a little hesitation to the inside and, and just enough to freeze Cameron Smith. And that's all he needed, a little separation away from the linebacker Smith, that little hesitation and the move inside. And he gets the touchdown. Depending on what happens tonight with LSU. Here's Darnold, and that was a young guy's mistake as Schooler has his team-high fourth interception. Yeah, you never want to throw late into the middle of the field. And this is one of the few decisions that he's made tonight that you scratch your head and say, nope, probably not the best decision. He's late, he reloaded, and Schooler, the true freshman with a big turnover, for this Oregon defense. Brendan Schooler has been a freshman breakout player for the Ducks. He's just so aware, but he was an under the radar recruit. He wasn't signed until this past summer. It's at 512 yards in total offense. And Freeman with a decent run down to the 21 yard line, eight yards there. Third and 10. They've done this a lot. Brooks James. He stepped his bounce. Did he step out? Yeah, yes, he stepped, he stepped out before out the first down. Near the 11 yard line. Herbert, first down throw right into the gut, short of midfield. 11 yard reception that time to Brown. Thoughts here, Todd. Alabama and LSU still to be determined. Drew Cup downfield. And Prukop has it complete to Jalen Brown. Nice spark here in the fourth quarter for 36 yards. Dakota Prukop to pass again, and he gets it quickly complete to Mitchell. Surging. It's going to be an interesting month in November. Second and five. Prukop, good-looking run as he rolls over a defender and goes into the end zone. He did not touch the ground there. Yes, he did. Nice block by Evan Bayless, number 81. Watch the tight end lead the way. Crew Cup hanging on to the football, goes right over the body and into the end zone. That's a great athletic effort. Graduate transfer from Montana State. 171 yards and four touchdowns, 45 to 20. 